Okay, file tilt. I can see the error of my ways and how I've been explaining this. So let's go through, just tick off the basics, we'll be good. This, this chain is a new RS, still RS chain. It is a 46 RS, it's 404. I'm using it because it's the only thing that I have that is new. All right, here we are completely zoomed in on the outside of this RS cutter. From the outside position here, we measure the side plate angle. The side plate angle on a full chisel chain is only the upper section. That, that is the side plate angle on a still RS chain. I will show an up close picture of this with a protractor overlaid. I will show an image of it without that. You can check my work. This chain has a 60 degree side plate angle. This is a factory grind on a still RS. It is a 60 degree angle. Now we've moved back a cutter so we can get one from the other side. When looking at a chain from the inside, the angle we are measuring is the top plate cutting angle. Again, I'll show a zoomed in picture of one of these with a protractor overlaid so you can see the top plate cutting angle measurement. When we measure top plate cutting angle, we are measuring it here on the very inner edge of the top plate. This factory still RS chain has a 50 degree top plate cutting angle. So that's a factory grind on an RS chain. You would describe this as a 30 degree filing angle, a 60 degree side plate angle and a 50 degree top plate cutting angle. So if you see the numbers 30, 60, 50, that is exactly what we have here. Let's look at it from a different angle. Okay, now we're looking at it from more of a front on view. Over here on the outside of the cutter, there is a blue dot. I put some red marking here on the inside. This is all the top plate. However, we have more angle here on the inside. We have 50 degrees of angle on the inside and 60 degrees on the outside. That is tilt. That is what you're trying to achieve when you tilt. You're trying to create more angle on the top plate cutting angle as measured from the inside. So we have 50 degrees of angle in here on the inside and 60 degrees out here as we exit the side plate. How do you achieve that? You have to tilt something to get that. If I hold a file or a grinding wheel flat when I'm doing this, I will have the same angle over here on the outside on the side plate as I do on the inside. That you would see expressed as a 30, 60, 60 chain. That is one done with no tilt or no offset when grinding. So what you're achieving when you're using a tilt or an offset with a grinder is you're just getting more angle on the top plate cutting angle here opposed to over there. We still have a 60 degree side plate angle, which is the same as the factory grind. That's it. That's the tilt. That's what it, we're doing. This is on a still RS chain. If I show you pictures of an Oregon EXL, its factory grind is 70 degrees on the side plate and 60 degrees on its top plate cutting angle. If you follow Oregon's recommended sharpening specifications, you will end up with a 60 degree side plate and a 50 degree top plate cutting angle. Exactly what we have here. So the other thing to ask yourself really is, why are we using 10 degrees as the angle that we're holding the file down? It's because that's what they're doing at the factory. We're just replicating the same thing. If you take this chain, as I showed uh, with the Carlton K2LX and with the RS and file it 30, 60, 60, so you hold the file flat, its performance is generally less than what you will get when you file with a tilt. This will only work on full chisel chains and semi chisel chains with a small corner radius. If you do this on still RM chains, like I did in that video, there is generally not a reaction. That is because the corner radius is quite large on that and the side plate is much lower down. They generally cut faster with it held flat because they need the top plate hanging out the front. 
most of your large corner radius semi chisels re will react the same way. If you're using a 325 chain, most of them are a very small corner radius semi. Most of them will react positively to tilt. The next part of this. When I put my file in there and I tilt, am I knocking off the corner? Am I taking out, out the, as people refer to it, hook? No. I can keep 60 degrees there. I can keep it exactly like it is because that's how it's done to begin with. When I file, I generally do want to reduce it. I go to approximately 70, 60 on an RS chain. Why is that? This is the reason why. The majority of my experience comes from running shit like this. If you take a saw like this and you try and use a 60 degree side plate angle in the hardwoods I cut, you spend so much time sharpening chain. You're punishing the crap out of it. If you are cutting softer woods, no problems. Keep that 60-50. Works pretty damn well. It works pretty well here in green woods too. But if you get into dry hardwoods and you're using a full chisel chain, you're gonna end up with an RS that looks like the shape that is etched on the side there as a witness mark to indicate side plate angle. You use file tilt because you're trying to maintain a reasonable top plate cutting angle. You're trying to keep it in that 60 to 65 range because that's where your cutting speed is. You need that to be, maintain that cutting speed. But you're trying to dull out that side plate angle a little because the more support you can give it, the longer it lasts. 